what better way to take back the narrative than on the front lines of an industry or publication that's known to objectify women and be like, okay, this is me, I'm doing this on my terms, wearing what I want, saying what I want, and standing up for what I believe in. The audience for this magazine might be an audience that's not used to seeing women who look like you in those pages, and that had to mean something as well. This is a different audience yeah. that maybe you can make an impression with. I talk a lot about combating the objectification of women and combating the sexualization of women in media today. For me, the way that you're going to create actual change is if you're going to reaching an audience that normally would never hear anything. Um, from a Muslim American woman and, and has already the stereotype in their heads of what we look like, how we speak, what message we have, and breaking that. To me, doing this wasn't compromising my identity or compromising my morals or beliefs because I was bringing them to the table. And my faith and my beliefs and who I am as a person is the reason why I chose to do this.